Today, on our final episode of Plant-Based Made Simple, we are going big and then we're going home. That's right, we are making the American classic meatloaf. You've heard about her? She's been tasting my food for two seasons. I want to introduce to you the one, the only, my camera operator extraordinaire, Danique. She's going to take over the history segment today. Lights, camera, action. Let's go. Meatloaf, a well-known American dish, but whose idea was it anyway? Believe it or not, a loaf of minced meat was mentioned as far back as the 5th century in ancient Rome. Meatloaf as we know it is traditionally a European dish. It's a cousin to the Dutch meatball. That's where I'm from. And I definitely grew up eating a whole bunch of huge Dutch meatballs. The contemporary American version did not appear in cookbooks until the late 19th century. So here's the stuff you need. We're gonna start with a quarter cup of potato starch or potato flour. Now, if you don't have this and you have uh, instant mashed potatoes at home, you can use a quarter cup of instant mashed potatoes. You know the ones that come in the box or the bag? You can use those. One cup of walnuts, and you wanna chop these pretty fine. One pound, or like one package, of extra firm tofu. We want two tablespoons of Bragg's liquid aminos. Now Bragg's liquid aminos are actually like a soy sauce substitute. They kind of taste like soy sauce, but it's not fermented. Two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. This is gonna give us the meaty fattiness that a meatloaf would have. One and a half cups of corn flakes. Now, corn flakes are naturally, corn is naturally gluten free but sometimes they have like barley malt in them. So what you wanna do is try to find a cornflake if you're gluten free that doesn't have the barley malt in it. But you can use any cornflake if you're not worried about the gluten. One small onion, chopped up, one teaspoon of Wright's liquid smoke. Now you can use any liquid smoke, you can find this in the grocery store. It's usually over by the barbecue sauce. The reason why I use Wright's rather than another brand is because I don't like to use vinegar because it's an irritant to our stomach and Wright's doesn't have vinegar in it. And one teaspoon of beef-like seasoning. Now beef-like seasoning is just a mix of herbs put together to give it like more of a beefy flavor. But if you don't have that, you can also use a chicken style seasoning which will still give it a nice flavor. <music> tofu. What is tofu? Well, believe it or not, Tofu was invented about 2,000 years ago in China. So how was tofu discovered? Apparently, a Chinese cook took soy milk and accidentally mixed it with some seaweed. And it curdled the milk, therefore we have tofu. Thank you, Chinese cook. So what are the benefits of soy or soya? It's nutrient dense and an excellent source of protein. It's a great source of vitamins and minerals, B vitamins, iron, zinc, and antioxidants. In fact, it has all nine essential amino acids. An essential amino acid is the amino acids that we have to take in from food. So we don't manufacture those in our body. We have to get them in a food source. Hence, soybeans, all the essential amino acids. So let's cook. First, we're gonna preheat our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 177 degrees Celsius. So in a large bowl, we're just gonna mix all our ingredients together. Our potato starch, our walnuts, our crumbled tofu, corn flakes, two tablespoons of our Bragg's liquid aminos, the olive oil, our chopped onion, the liquid smoke, and the beef-like seasoning. We're just gonna mix this all together until we can get a nice consistency. Then what we wanna do 
is we want to take a loaf pan. I'm using mini loaf pans, but you can use a regular bread loaf pan and make one large meatloaf. So liberally take olive oil and you want to brush that on to make sure that our meatloafs don't stick. Take our mixture and we want to press it into the pans. Press them pretty good because we want them to stay together nicely. And then a little trick that I do is I take a spatula and go all the way around the side of the pan. This is going to move it away from the sides so that it doesn't stick for sure. Then what you want to do is just stick them in the oven and we're going to bake them for about an hour. Now if you're going to do the mini pans like I did, you want to take a couple minutes off of that. So maybe about 45 minutes, maybe 50 minutes. And then you'll have perfect meatless meatloafs. Okay my friends, I'm giving it a try. This has such great texture, as well as a really, truly meaty flavor. It is delicious. You're gonna love it. Hey, Danique, come on in and give it a try. Oh, it gets a thumbs up. Thanks, Danique. Sadly, not only is our time up on this video, but this is our last video here at Plant Based Made Simple for now, because we promise we're gonna come out with season three. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell, because we promise you we're gonna have a whole new show coming up. If you wanna know more details, don't forget to go to our Instagram, Wildwood DIY Health.